bigger, man. I would have popped a cap in his ass by now. No, no, don't give it all. Oh my god. You're a pretty good shot. Need to give her the fucking energy bar, man. Fuck that. You don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Big dick Lee. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find <laughs> some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. <laughs> it's. I don't know, man. Fair enough. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Don't want to start like another cutscene or some shit. What's this? Oh, no, uh, it's the batteries. Oh, cool. I need to find one more, I believe. We can't let anything happen. What the hell is this? Two spare clippings, no, yeah. Can I read them? Guess not. I don't remember them very well. I say it's his family, yeah. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Sorry. Are you I don't give a fuck right? about Duck, though, We're Kenny. It's more about Katja, man. She's pretty sweet. We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're... Oh, Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, her family's dead, so. That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well. She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her. Every See, this is what cut you so sweet, man. Lee, you got a second? Sure. What the hell you want to talk about, man? Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. They got killed depression. Yeah, get another energy bar in here. Oh, let's talk to this dumb bitch. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, it didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? 
Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like a cult. We need to stick together and get through this. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like uh -huh. that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. I will. Where's her mom? Dead. Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She's been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm going to get back to him. Sounds good. Ah, uh, fuck you, Lily. I've got free energy bars. I'm going to keep it for myself, you know. Yeah, Clement Landor, I'm coming to you. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Another energy bowl. Whoa. I'm getting spoiled here. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. All right, Clementine, here you go. You get the... Best priority. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Oh. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I'll give another one. Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, yeah, I mean, of course. Good, it's good. I it's guess I learned a lot about her now. Yep. Riveting Sometimes. conversation. Okay. There right, you go, you can have it. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Looks like I can't give her another chocolate bar. The pills are in there. There's no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. All right, here's the batteries. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Hey, Connie. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. 
My Damn, Lee is getting his, uh... About five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but... Yeah, Lee know. is getting sex on. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic... <laughs> be, Chad Doug. He's kind of cute. Yeah. Parents basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> oh can I, eh? How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I better get back to it. Yep. Oh, let's try to get into the building. Oh, let me give Doug. How can you fuck food? Ugh, fucking Doug. Oh, thanks, Lee. I did it for, I did it for Kacha. Not for you, Kenny, you fucking prick. Lee. 